Hi again and uh, welcome to our third part of the tutorial how to work with um, a photo editor. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the uh, um, overlay tool. Um, it's not a real overlay, l overlay like you probably uh, know from working with the Photoshop or any other desktop applications. Uh, but it's the closest one that I can uh, uh, think of. Uh, let's go to the gallery and choose uh, one photo. Uh, I'm going to use this one as the first photo. Okay, and now I want to bring in the second photo that I would like to combine with it, this overlay. So I'm going to go down to the bottom menu to the effect and just scroll to the left until you see the overlay options right here okay click on the shape we're not going to use the shape today brush and now click on the image in order to uh, locate the second photo that I would like to combine I'm going again to my uh, quick pick gallery go to the gallery again just to remind you this is the first photo that we uh, we're using and I'm going to combine it with uh, let's take this photo uh, probably it's not the best uh, example that I can show you but uh, that's what I'm having for the moment okay once you brought in the uh, two photos click here on the invert this is the first photo that you see and this is the second one okay the first one and the second one uh, please note that the photos are the, the same uh, dimensions uh, it's not recommended to work with one photo for example that has uh, 8 megapixels and the other one is less or more so you it must be uh, the closest uh, um, to the those those two photos with the same dimensions uh, here the image, the cows, and on the other photo are almost at the same position. So if we will combine this photo, this photo, two photos, it will probably uh, be like overlapping and, and not the nicest way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click again on the invert. And now to the second photo. And now I would like to move it a little bit to the left and to the bottom but uh, there is no a uh, hand tool like we uh, familiar with uh, uh, other applications so what we can do is just click here and you will see the uh, x position you can now uh, slide it to the scroll it to the left or to the right i'm just moving it to the left i'm just guessing now i really i don't have really uh, any idea and click again on the uh, uh, dots here and go to the Y position and now I'm moving it a little bit to the bottom uh, I need furthermore to the left to my opinion so going and get again to the X position and to the left okay now again this is the first photo this is the second photo and now if we are going to use the uh, brush tool just make sure that you are on the larger side and, and the less hardness and very carefully just brush the area underneath again I'm pausing for a minute and continue brushing uh, okay a little bit more here and here okay hmm, not bad actually okay uh, of course it doesn't look uh, realistic uh, we can uh, we could have chosen uh, better uh, samples uh, but I can leave the rest to your imagination how you can uh, combine uh, two photos now if everything is okay you have to uh, uh, click on the green V and now you have combined two photos into one uh, and you can 
continue working let's go to the effect uh, let's choose auto contrast right here mm, okay I don't like the effect but let's leave it for now let's approve it um, going back to the effect mm, okay no let's get back and go into the color uh, tool let's use the saturation tool okay saturated again approve it assign it okay mm. it looks much better to my opinion uh, what else can we do here okay we can actually do actually do many things but I believe that uh, you have already understood how you can work with uh, this overlay tool um, don't forget you can download the uh, the application from Google Play Market and I recommend you uh, to buy the the, the, the paid version uh, thanks for uh, being here bye bye